So, this is my new uh, bench top table saw. It's a saw stop, um, which means it comes with some clever uh, skin detection system. So in theory, um, you can't chop your finger off. It has, um, I think it works on a moisture sensor, and it um, detects the moist moisture uh, on the blade and fires a mechanism, stop mechanism, that instantly um, stops the blade spinning. Uh, I'm never going to hopefully find out if it works or not, but I've seen a lot of good things about it. It's, um, it certainly wasn't cheap, but then new fingers are very pricey, so um, I think it should be money well spent. From there, I think that should be okay. Yeah, that's it. So the reason we're um, unboxing it, even though we haven't got anywhere to put it at the moment, is because the plan is actually to integrate it into the workbench, so it sits flush. Um, and to do that, we need to get the proper measurements of it so that we can get the, the uh, drawing correct. So this is a mock-up I've done in uh, Shaper 3D, which is just a CAD design program. I'm still learning how to use it, but it's handy to uh, see how the joints all hang together and get dimensions uh, for this sort of thing. You'll see how the front uh, portion is lower, so the table saw can sit a little lower, but the bed will be level with the outfeed section of the table. Um, I've not designed it like a traditional uh, woodworking workbench um, because I decided what I, I really need currently is just an assembly and glue up table. I think uh, a project for the future will be a proper um, woodworking bench with dog holes and vices and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, but for now this will just mean I don't have to work on the floor quite so much. So we've got one leg uh, partially glued up, that's what they're going to kind of look like together. Um, it's a bit slow going at the moment because it's so hot in the shed. Um, we can only be out here for a few hours at a time and then it gets a little painful. So apologies for the slow progress on this, but we will get there in the end. Um, like that, I think. Got no one.
It also doesn't help when we run out of clamps. The old adage, can never have enough clamps. It's very true. There we go. I think that leg needs a little squaring up. But yeah, not bad. It's going to be okay.